Today marks the beginning of Kwanzaa, the seven night celebration honoring African American culture and traditions. CBS 2's Sade Gray shows us how several generations are coming together to celebrate. Remember what the colors mean we talked about this morning? As Christmas and Hanukkah comes to an end, Kwanzaa is just beginning. Too often we think of the holidays as just like a vacation and, you know, food and gifts and that's the opposite of what Kwanzaa is actually about. And, and it's really about grounding ourselves in, in, the, in the seven principles. The seven principles are unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity and faith. In Evanston at the Fountain Square, Kwanzaa was recognized with the human sized Kanara, a seven candle holder. The black candle was lit today, which represents the people or unity. G Lo Quasi Logan brought his six year old son to learn more. Here in Evanston is to me represents the unification and the partnerships between the Jewish, because it's the last day of Hanukkah and the first day of Kwanzaa. So to me, that also signifies the historical alliance. In the Calumet Heights neighborhood, this younger generation is learning about the importance of Kwanzaa at the Bronzeville Children's Museum. It's so important for everybody, especially our African-American brothers and sisters, to understand wonderful principles by which they can live and help others. Several families participated in singing, storytelling, face painting, and listening to Kwanzaa-inspired music. Gretchen Bright brought her granddaughter and niece to the museum to learn about their culture. It exposes our children to something good. Oftentimes you hear people say, well, I didn't know about this or I didn't know about that. Well, if you come here, you'll learn. Kwanzaa is a culture holiday, not a religious holiday, that's celebrated for seven days. Sharday Gray, CBS 2 News.